here today. This week we are thinking about the third blessing in a big speech Jesus once made. We call that speech the Beatitudes or the blessings. Do you remember the first two blessings? The first is blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The second is blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Let's find out what the third blessing is. If you want to find it in your Bible, you can search for Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Ready? Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Or another way to say it is, Happy are people who are humble, because they will inherit the earth. Inherit means it is given to you. Now, with the first two blessings, people were pretty surprised by what Jesus said. They just couldn't believe it. But when they heard this one, it sounded kind of familiar. It was a bit like what they heard in some of their songs and prayers. I imagine that when people heard this, their ears perked up and they felt a little bit of hope just popping out of their hearts. When Jesus was teaching, owning land was one way people could provide for their own families. It gave them honor and a little more say in what happened in their community. The problem was that most people in that crowd did not own land, at least not anymore. In fact, most people who did own land got it because they took it in violent and unkind ways. But Jesus told the crowd that in the kingdom of heaven, remember, that's how God wants the world to be. In the kingdom of heaven, it is the meek, people who are kind and gentle, who will have land. And not just a little land, but the whole earth. God wants the world to be filled with people who are kind and gentle, people who think other people are just as special to God as they are. Here is a saying that you can use to remember this blessing. Can you repeat after me? I am God's child and everyone else is God's child too. When we live this way, we can see that everyone is a gift from God who deserves our love and our care. I want to give you a blessing again this week. Do you remember how we do that? I'll hold my hand up like this, and you hold your hand out like this. You can imagine that the words are filling little cups in your hands. Are you ready? May God bless you when you are gentle, and kind to others. Next week, we will look at the fourth blessing in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. I'll see you then. Bye.
Join us for worship, Sundays at 10 a.m. Learn more at our website, presby.net.